So much of our lives is about others making choices for us. In real estate, you, as an individual, always make them for yourself. There is no situation in real estate where you have any participation. You can't do anything in real estate. You can't touch a contract unless you are the person that's responsible for the decisions. It's the only investment that's truly really like that. Everybody says it gets down to you at the end, whether you're buying a stock, you know, whether you're doing this. But when real estate decisions are made, you are the one that is going to be at risk for those real estate decisions. And it's a decision because you have to be the person making the decision. I'm going to buy this or I'm not going to buy that. Real estate investing, if you have a job or you don't have a job, still requires the commitment of sacrifice and sacrifice of time. It takes time to be educated. It takes time to gather the market information. And you have to make the decisions to do that. If you move before you have market information, you will most likely lose. If you have too much market information, the best opportunities may have passed you by. It's just like getting on and off that trolley. You can see it coming. You know it's coming. It's in front of you. It's moving away. There it is down the hill. You've got to be paying attention and know when to step on and when to step off. It, that requires focus. You've got to have the education and you've got to do it yourself. Nobody else can make you step on that trolley. Nobody else can move it's moving down the hill. You've got to be the one to step along and step up on the rail. You're the one that's got to grab the handle. Nobody else can grab it for you. Somebody that's on the trolley may give you a hand and help you up. That's true. But nobody else can step up on there but you. And you need to think in terms of that because when you're doing it, Every decision in real estate involves risk. Every commitment that you do involves risk. And the risk, as in stepping on a streetcar, can be a lot. So you need to think about it before you do it. You need to be willing to do it. And you can go to San Francisco and see hundreds of people that watch streetcars go by and they never decide to get on one because it was moving too fast. So real estate, This is something that we'll get into in just a couple of slides. <laughs> the, the point on risk is what's called tolerable risk. And just to dissect, digress for a second, the point is exactly good. It's one thing to, on my website, I have the phrase, you want to invest enough money in real estate that you will pay attention to your investment. But you don't want to invest so much money that if you lose it, it changes your children's lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It is the amount of money, the, the determination of risk that is the criteria for investing. Real estate is the only investment in which your actions, and it's only, I, there are several businesses, but it's the only investment in which your actions or inactions directly impacts other people. When you decide to buy a piece of property, if the people are still living there, it has an impact on their life. But if it's a foreclosed piece of property and it's vacant, your decision to buy that property impacts the street that it's on. It impacts the neighborhood that you chose to buy in. It is a huge thing for the community overall because you're taking an undervalued asset, an underutilized asset, and creating value with it. It is the neighborhoods and the streets upon which you choose to invest, in which you have the opportunity that drives value. It is not money. I mean, money is the result of the things that happen. But what the reality is, is that we are making decisions for the future that are going to be good for our future, but they have the ancillary and direct benefit to the community that we live in. So where we choose to invest really gets to be 
Hat mir geschehen.